What is going on, guys? It is Raid Designs here. I am back. Wow, it's been a while. Um, <laughs> it's uh, a lot of it has just, you know, I, I needed a break from all this and everything. And, you know, also, I just I don't have any ideas for tutorials. And honestly, one of the biggest things that I've, I've built my uh, channel off of is, you know, being honest and being loyal to you guys. And, you know, I know there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that upload the same content, just a different thing or, you know, like, you know, a different style of, of a banner or some stuff like that. And if that works for them, great. But the thing is, is that what I built my channel off of is being creative and really showing you guys um, things that are going to be used in every day, you know, that could be used in, you know, millions of different things and millions of different types of design <clears throat> all over the world. Um, I also do things and I don't want to over... Um, saturate it. Um, it's pretty simple how to make a YouTube banner. I mean, it, it's pretty straightforward. Now, how you create it and like your style and your, um, you know, visions is all up to you. It's not up to me. I can't teach you how to do that. And that's exactly why I can't, I don't like to upload the same tutorial over and over and over again. But I finally came up with something that I thought would be really cool. I know this my channel has always been uh, very Call of Duty-esque sometimes. So I said, why not try a uh, and show you guys a little bit of a Black Ops 3 layer style type thing. Or just kind of how to do certain, you know, a certain type of, you know, attacks. You can do a million different ways. But this is just a way I do it. Um, so thanks again if you guys are tuning in. If you can, like that. Like the video, you know, it will help a lot in the long run. And, you know, I'm going to try my hardest to be back, whether it's, uh, you know, doing uh, speed arts or stuff but you know um, doing my best a lot of things have changed in my life for better and for the for <clears throat> amazing amazing stuff but uh, you know so I'm just trying to you know sporadically give myself time for certain things so anyways let's start off with this tutorial um, for anybody who doesn't know Black Ops and Call of Duty especially Black Ops uses the bank gothic font so I'm just gonna use BO3 here now, I rasterize it just so I can edit it. Uh, it's up to you. You know, you can make a black background. It's up, completely up to you what you do. Now, I'm just going to edit this font a little bit and make it a little bit more uh, Black Ops E esque. <laughs> uh, well, just because, you know, I feel like. This is just a little bland. All right, that's enough right now because I know it's it's very simple, but <laughs> whatever. So what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to uh, hold down the command or the control key for PC people, but I, I it's command for Mac, and click over your thumbnail to select. Uh, usually I go to select, modify, contract, and I do about 15, see if that's enough. It's a little too much. I'm going to go select, contract, 5. A little too not enough there, so contract maybe about seven. And that works, and you're gonna just delete that inside. Um, now, of course, you're gonna see these bends right here. These are going to look like that uh, due to the fact that you are completely just deleting the inside of, of this. Um, what we could do to get that, you know, a little bit less of a problem, you can less of a contract. You know, it's a little bit less of a problem, of course, here. Uh, but you, that's not going to be the important part because we're really not going to focus on the actual line of this. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go, whoops, not pattern overlay. We're going to go to a gradient overlay. Uh, I'm gonna, and, of course, mine's already set like this for some reason. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go into, and I, if you don't have my layer styles, they're in all of my graphics packs. Uh, this is just a cool gradient. That I have it's black ops always kind of been black ops esque type uh, gradient uh, we're gonna add an inner shadow uh, one distance one size hundred angle overlay opacity 100% actually I'm gonna make this 50% we're gonna add an outer glow we're not gonna have it <laughs> that we're gonna have oh well wow. we're gonna make it orange ish and we're going to lower the opacity to about 25. And that is a th the basic part. I mean, you could just be like, all right, I'm done. Well, <laughs> more to it. Uh, we can, we're going to duplicate this layer, and we're going to take off the inner, just everything but the uh, gradient. We're going to go into Filter, Liquify. 
and we're going to add, we're going to zoom in a little bit, we're going to really pull down the sides of our brush, and we're just going to add little squiggles to this line, to these lines, you know, little ones, they don't have to be huge, uh, just enough to get the point across. And this is going to be an effect that really kind of shows the I don't know, like kind of gives it that weird look to it if you ever look at them. A lot of people wouldn't really do this, but I do it because it's it just makes everything look so much better in my opinion. Gives it a real feel of it being burnt <laughs> or you know, flames or something coming from it. Now, of course, my version of the Black Ops 3 style layer thingy <laughs> it is not going to be the same as the other one. This is just kind of my take. Uh, I made a banner for Red Saber or for a, a while back, and that was kind of my take on it. And it looks similar, but it's not, you know, I didn't want to copy exactly off of what they do. Now, of course, you guys can get the exact uh, if you want um, by really just manipulating it and keep playing with everything. But, you know, I don't like copying identically to what uh, goes on. So if we click off this, of course, you kind of see this aspect to it. And if I overlay it, eh, kind of just gives it this weird look to it, of course, right now. Um, you're not going to really notice a lot. Uh, I mean, I, you could color overlay it and then switch it to white rasterize and hit overlay and then it kind of gives you that vibe to it already but we're not going to do that so we're just going to save this right now uh, we're not going to keep this off light okay and we're just going to focus on this one now so first thing is is that i like to add a little bit of grunge to it give give it that that feel of it really burning so I have a lot of these debris brushes that you can go buy in my store and we're just going to delete parts of it and use the eraser tool and kind of just get it the effect of it decaying and, and whatnot uh, I like it adds a little something to it uh, and that's perfect and then what we're going to want to do is this is where everything that you are thinking of is going to come into play uh, in one of my graphics packs or any of them you will have uh, flares, I mean, I, it doesn't matter what flare you want, but open one up, uh, change the color to orange, or, I mean, this one, we're going to have to colorize it. Oh, well, that is why. And, yeah, we're going to give this a nice, brighter orange like that. And you can just bring it on in here. And what you're going to do is shrink these and really kind of follow the guides, right? These lines, um, like right here. And I'm going to have to grab another, <laughs> another brush. Uh, and this is all by eye. I mean, like, you don't have to sit here and... Um, you know, get this exact, it just needs to look somewhat like it's on, you know, like that it makes sense. And you could do this with brushes and stuff like that, but, you know, to get the actual effect, ooh, I am sorry, to get the actual effect of what we're doing here, I recommend using some sort of flare. If you can make your own flare, that's even better, because that's what I do, and uh, it, it works very well, and, you know, I get a lot of good feedback from them because it helps a lot of people. But yeah, this is what we're going to do, is you're kind of just going to outline this text, or, you know, the type. And we're, I'm only going to do one letter, because this does take a little bit, and, you know, I do want to kind of show the comparison between all of them. So, uh, and we're going to come in here and erase that, and erase that. And for people that don't know, this isn't the only thing you do. I mean, so we're not done yet. A <laughs> uh, lot more to go. A lot more to see. And uh, 
you'll you'll see the exact uh, feeling of, of this Black Ops esque font. Um, I'm going to change this to a black in the background just to give you guys a little bit more of a understanding of where it's going so I don't have to use curves or anything right now. Uh, I'll add a little bit of a Oop. hold on because my brushes take forever to load. Just shrinking this real quick. Nope, I don't want to do that. And give this about a 15, maybe a 7. Okay, so after that, as I was saying for these types of things, you're going to want to add some more overlays. You're going to want to add more orange to this just to give it that real big feel of it being black ops. So you take a soft brush, kind of cover it in the orange. And then we're going to add the white on top of it to really make it pop. And with white, you want to sporadically do it. You don't want white all over the place. You're going to want to do it in certain areas, and then you're just going to want to click overlay. Okay, and that is looking pretty good. Uh, this can come on in the middle a little bit. Yeah, I don't really like There we go. So after that, You're already kind of getting the, the, the Black Ops te text looking already, and that's when this is going to come in. So if we overlay this, you can kind of see how it kind of gives it that look already. Um, you don't have to worry about the side on the right, but you can screw with different uh, presets, and, or presets, different blending modes doesn't even have to be orange like like I said you can switch it to white or black or whatever oh. uh, and, you know switch it to overlay or switch to soft light or multiply you know there's just well, multiply is not going to work but <laughs> But yeah, you can switch it. And what I would actually do, to be honest with this, is I would go to a yellow, like a nice bright yellow, and switch it to like multiply. Oh, nope, not that. We're going to switch to overlay and kind of erase some of these. And that's kind of what you're going to get out of it, is we're going to focus on this B right here, guys. So once you guys have the flare and everything like that done, the last thing you're going to do is this is where you can really make or break your 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 type. Um, I have a in my I think it's my 60k pack. I which I'm going to open up right now. It's kind of reading everything. I have fire stocks, and I would go into the fire stocks guys, and I would use them to your advantage. Uh, the bottom of these, and you know, and you can find fire stocks anywhere, guys. I mean, I, I've bought the majority of mine. Um, you can kind of just, you know, give this effect that it's burning without actually giving it away too bad. You know, like that would make sense a little bit. And then, yeah, you just can use different. Uh, where's the other one that I really like? There it is. Um, kind of just sit there and screw up fire stocks, you know, use soft brushes to erase it, depending upon what you necessarily feel. If, if you're feeling to get a little crazy, you can keep adding fire to it. Uh, it's really up to you. Um, you know, I preferably, you know, I personally wouldn't give too much, you know, to this. Yeah, I wouldn't go overboard with it. I wouldn't really take it too far. I would give it about what I have right now, and then that's kind of what 
your BO2 font looks like. Um, Typeface-esque thingy. Um, yeah, and that's, I mean, that's what you're gonna, you're looking at right now, guys, is it's a uh, pretty cool looking font, typeface looking thing. Um, gives it a really, really cool look. So, of course, if you take a look at the B and then you take a look at the Zero or the BO3, Black Ops 3, you, know, you can really tell that this has been screwed with. This has it's very, very lightly screwing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and that's... Uh, if you take this off, you'll 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 see kind of the difference. You can lower the opacity on it if you want. But yeah, this is uh, that's how I do it. Um, there's a million other ways you could probably do it as well. Um, uh, this is just one of the ways I, I've learned how to do it. I, I hope you guys enjoy this. And, you know, I hope you guys have stuck around for the whole tutorial because I haven't uploaded in a long time, so I'm I'm interested to see how how many of you guys are still here. So. Thank you guys again, and please leave comments, and um, check out my cell phone and all that stuff for anything you guys want, uh, like I said. Um, I can't believe we're almost approaching 70,000 subscribers. That's unbelievable. But, um, yeah, so if you guys can, you know, check all that stuff out, and uh, let me know. Give me some ideas if you're looking for new tutorials, new things, speed art ideas, anything. Let me know. So I've been Ray to Deuces.